everyone, we're back! My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosaga Episode 3! I think this is supposed to have a... It's beautiful. I think this is supposed to have a... Sepia filter. Hold on. I might be able to... It's... It might cause a video glitch. But let me see. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it was a different cutscene I was thinking of. Back to this. Also makes Tellos flash on the screen for some reason. <laughs> it's hard to believe that somewhere out there in that sea of stars, planets are being destroyed by the Gnosis phenomenon. I want to say something in to that, but I can't past, yet. People were forced into space by unavoidable circumstances. Y'all ain't dressed. <laughs> Go get dressed. <laughs> Four thousand years since then. They never encountered any life forms they could call neighbors. Just when everyone had given up and assumed that humans were alone in the universe, the Gnosis approached us in order to erase mankind from the cosmos. My okay. grandfather used to say that all of creation has a meaning and purpose, and that that's why we're allowed to exist in the universe. If that's true, then perhaps we are fated to perish. Maybe the universe itself is rejecting us. Uh-oh. Maybe we are the ones that are rejecting the universe by trying to change that fate. Is that why you built Cosmos? The planet where I was born was destroyed by the Gnosis. Because he was a little boy in the beginning of the well. game. <sighs> you see, he's wearing the special necklace. I was the only one that survived. That is a bullshit lie, because we know for a fact that other people survived. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know if what I'm doing is to atone for not being able to do anything, or to take revenge against those who took everything from me. But I can say that even if the universe desires otherwise... That's a pretty sparse apartment, dude. <laughs> she is our hope. I think I understand how you feel. I lost my parents on Milsha. So, their entire relationship, I again, I can't talk about it until at least another halfway through the game, but their relationship, there's something seriously wrong about it that's never really discussed in the game. <laughs> but... Shion. Why am I here? What should I be doing? Where am I going? To put some clothes on, Shion. <laughs> It's as if everything is hidden in a deep fog on a distant shore. Also, because this game is uh, very Japan, later on in the game, towards the end, you can actually steal that shirt in a boss fight and use it in fighting. It actually becomes an equipable item that you can use. And yes, it does show, just like it does right now, in fights. <laughs> Because right Japan. Now, if that's where hope lies, I want to grant your wish. He's putting, the, that's when he gives the necklace to her, I think. Yeah. <gasps> is this, is this the pendant your mother gave you? The path I'm walking may be a mistake. Oh, it is! I don't know for sure. It is. Will you walk down this path with me? Well, if you told her everything, she would say no. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, you asshole. <gasps> Bros. It's nasty. <laughs> PS2 kissing! Some something that they always cut away from and will always show with like a tasteful like camera work around it because they don't want to show the fact that the lips don't it doesn't work. <laughs> Shia, are you feeling joy? God damn it, Udu! 
Joy? Joy? <laughs> yes. I'm happy. Very happy. Happy? I feel fulfilled. By this memory? Yes. It's a wonderful memory. The days I spent with him. <laughs> the little bit of slowdown makes me giggle so much. <laughs> I want to stay like this forever. But you can't. Forever. Even if I were to be born again. Eternally. Over and over. This is creepy. Over <laughs> and over. Over and over. This is creepy. This guy is getting a little bit creepy. But. But. It's, it, that but is very important. <laughs> that but is very important. Scarlet 2020. <laughs> uh, where am I? Where are the others? We went into the hypersphere to rescue the Elsa and then Telos and Cosmos. <gasps> Cosmos, where is everyone? Cosmos got torn apart. Oh, where am I? Don't worry about it, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure there's nothing incredibly wrong about what has happened. <laughs> Oh, it's graph- you guys can't see it because it's where my webcam is, but there's some graphical glitching going on over there. I think that's- I can't remember which way I'm supposed to go. A save point's over there, so I'm gonna go this way. Yep. Looks like that goes somewhere else, though. Okay, I'll go this way. This looks like a boss fight place. Can I blow them up? Yeah! I like blowing things up. The gate is locked, damn it. <laughs> okay, so it is making me go the other direction. Can I blow these up? Yeah! Excellent. It's always a good day when you can do some wanton destruction. <laughs> At least I think it is. It's my favorite kind of day. And we can do a little bit of uh, blowing up random things that are not ours. Do, 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 do. Though, sadly, I will be forced to not have Sh Cosmos as my on screen character for a good long while. Sadly. Don't move! Hi, Junior! <laughs> God damn it, Junior! <laughs> Junior, that's not an enemy. Yay, I don't have to have she onto my party. What? Oh, oh whoops. I hit the button. Uh, Junior, why did you do that? Oh, sorry. I thought you were an enemy. Because Junior is extremely high strung and really bad at knowing when not to do a thing. <laughs> Could you get off me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's the others. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's okay. Actually, we can't find Cosmos or the crew of the Elsa. Uh oh. I'm sure they were transported with us. What? Transported? Do you mean a warp transfer? Yeah. We don't know where we are yet, but it was probably that light. The light that came from Xion. Oh no. But nobody's going to uh, talk about the fact that the light came from Xion. At least I don't think anybody brings up the fact that the light came from there. Yay! I don't have to be Xion! Fixing this immediately. You go there. You go there. And now I- oh crap, I hit the wrong button. Now I'm chaos. <laughs> there we go! Everything's right with the world. Do 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 I mean... I don't really have a preference on who is going to be my leader on-screen character, if it's not Cosmos. Except... Uh-oh. You, Dick! 
Um, except for just the fact that I like Momo's outfit in this game really much. Like, I really, really like it. What, now you're gonna chase me? <laughs> Bruh. Can I go past him? God damn it. Wait a minute, that should have been a back attack. Excuse you, game. This game's borked. I want a refund. On a game I bought when I was in uh, freshman year of high school, I think? I can't remember. How are you not si Oh, damn it! I didn't mean to actually run into him. <laughs> oh well. Uh, he only has a single tech attack. But I can do this! Eh, it didn't do as well as I wanted to. It can be so easy to juke behind things sometimes. Oh, hi! How you doing? Uh, bye! Don't catch me, don't catch me. Ooh, a thing! Give me this! Thank you. Run! <laughs> See, sometimes it is because, unlike in the earlier games. Uh oh. What? Is there nothing here? Shit. Where do I need to go then? Oh. Alright. What's over here? I can't even remember what I was talking about. I just got confused. <laughs> Cutscene! Where's everybody else? Also, who fixed the- It can't be. That's impossible. Jin- Who fixed the thingy? What's wrong, Xion? <gasps> Uh-oh! <gasps> it can't be. It's Labrinthos! But it is. There's no mistaking it. That's Labyrinthos. Which we saw in Xenosaga Episode 2, and this place looked entirely different because it was entirely submerged as an ocean. For the most part. <gasps> Labyrinthos from Milsha? Yep. Wasn't it destroyed during the conflict? Yep, and most of the planet was buried in water, somehow. Yeah, I can't believe it either. But there's no doubt about it. If that exists, that means we're on Milsha at least 15 years ago. So it is kind of a leap of logic to go from that they traveled into the past 15 years. They are on Milsha, but they haven't seen any evidence of them jumping into the past except for the fact that they're on a forested area that's not covered in water. <laughs> Do you mean we're in the past? I don't know about that. We were in the past when we dove into Cosmos' subconscious. Yep. Way back in the first game. But it wasn't the actual guess past. That might be possible as well. Yep. It's a fake past. Chaos is like, eh, I don't know about that dude. <laughs> They're not actually time travel. It's complicated. It's not really time traveling, but it's not entirely like they're inside somebody's subconscious or anything. It's really not well explained what the hell is going on, but sort of explained, but not never entirely explained. Let's go with it's complicated. Whoa! Uh -oh. What's up, bruh? Can I even... Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything over there I can do. Can I get past him? Okay. I run! Damn it! <laughs> I tried. Gold star for effort. Damn! Poor Momo. On. Yay, I got the thing. This is fine. This is a big tree trunk. <laughs> Ooh, a safe point. I'll go back there in a minute. Because there's a thing over here because the big doggie dogs jumped all the way somehow onto that log. And we saw that there was a thingy-mabob back here. Hey look, a thingy-mabob. A skill key one. Okay, I can't actually remember what that means. I can't- I actually cannot remember what that does. Like, at all. These I'm saving for when we get Cosmos back, eventually. Open four groups of EX skill level one. 
Okay. Oh, right, it gives the EX skills. Right, when you use those um, things, which are extra ones, because generally everybody has their own skill lines that are very specific to the sorts of characters that they are, but these one lets you give or these ones let you give them abilities that are outside of that, so you won't necessarily have to make Momo a healer. I don't know why you wouldn't make Momo a healer, because she's kidded to be a healer, but if you really wanted to, eventually you could make her not a healer. Sort of like the sphere grid in uh, Final Fantasy X, except not as complicated. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this might not be fine. Every time there's a save point at the end of an area in this game, I'm like, that's not gonna end well. Gunshots! Over there! Boss fight! Let's go. Probably. Maybe. Potentially not. Though well, it does give me like three seconds to decide whether or not I'm gonna go back or not. Jim. Quiet. Damn it. I can't die before I rendezvous with the main unit. It's Virgil! Without the scarring. That is important to remember. It's Virgil before the scarring. Those are combat realities. Looks like they're against Federation soldiers. What do you want to do? It's not going to last long. We can't just abandon someone who's hurt. Let's help him. You can't you tell that's Virgil Shion? <laughs> I mean, I know he's not doesn't have the scar face for an eating reality in flesh. I want to help everyone. It's complicated. Uh, I don't have anything ice on. No, I don't. Okay. But I can set this one on fire. Rude. Do that too. <laughs> and then just to add insult to injury. Here I go. Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping it would have caused him not to have a turn. Oh well. At least I can murder. And then, okay, so it's ice that he doesn't like. Hit him in the butt. And then bring up chaos and hit him in the butt again and then just for good measure shoot him <laughs> what they didn't kill him okay now he's dead right are you kidding me y'all now they're dead so remember there's the realian problem that's supposed to happen where all of the realians go crazy and start murdering everyone that ha if I remember correctly, that happened on Milsha. Hasn't happened yet! <laughs> Obviously, because those aren't crazy realians yet. Uh, who the hell are you? Don't worry about it, Virgil. Uh, drop your weapons. Are you seriously, dude? I just saved your ass. <laughs> I'll shoot you if you don't follow. Uh, uh. <gasps> it can't be. Lieutenant Virgil? Virgil? The Testament? Yes, he looks a little different, but there's no doubt it's him. Fifteen years younger and a little bit less scarred. But how? How do you know my... Uh... <gasps> He's hurt. This is gonna end well. Don't touch me! Are you serious, Virgil? <laughs> oh, don't move and let me treat your wound. <sighs> and he's gone. What should we do? Don't worry about it. We help him. What else? But he's a testament, right? Not yet. Don't ask me. I don't know. His wounds are serious. If we don't do something soon... We can't leave him here. Yes. At any rate, let's find a safe location. Momo, please lend me a hand. I'm going to stop the bleeding. Okay. You guys don't have- <laughs> Momo's just doing this over his body. <laughs> That should do it. Let's hurry and get him somewhere he can rest. I'm sure this is fine. So let me probably pick up his gun. That's gonna be useful. Now you're just gonna leave it? I mean, 
Weaponry is always useful. You shouldn't just leave that. Man, y'all dumb. Yay, more update files. Just sitting in the road. Shit, you really never need to read to actually enjoy the game, but can be good to read if you want to understand the game. This game definitely requires some uh, database reading if you want to understand what's going on. Or you could just have me here over explaining everything during cutscenes and talking over people. Because I'm terrible. Uh oh! Someone there? <laughs> Shion's gonna recognize her immediately. That's Feb? It's Febronia! You're not gonna. Hey, wait! Okay, I was gonna say, you're not gonna stop her? Shion! Virgil's getting worse! His condition is critical. We have to find somewhere to treat him quickly. But where? That's probably not the best way to carry him, Wait. also. There should be a church up ahead. A church? Yes, when I woke up in this forest, I felt strange. But if this is Milsha, and that's Feb, then this is a place I know well. Mm-hmm. If we follow her, we should arrive at an old church. And something that you- and there's a lot of things that you should remember and that- but you completely do not remember that are gonna come back to bite you in the ass. There's no time to hesitate. Let's carry him there. Then stop talking and start moving, Jin. <laughs> you got places to be. Rocks to blow up. Seriously, if there's ever an option to blow something up in this game, you always hit square. You always blow it up. Because that's how you get stuff. This is... A church! We saw this place in Cosmos's subconscious. Yep. Again, this game ties into Xenosaga 1 way more than it ties into Xenosaga 2. Yes. I met Fabronia here. The place holds a lot of memories for me and Feb. A lot of really bad ones. And you can good rest ones. inside here. Let's go. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Is anyone there? We have an injured person. May we let him rest here? Uh oh. It's baby Shion. Who are you? <laughs> baby Shion. Baby she that's is. <gasps> me? Maybe don't say that so loud <laughs> that she can hear you. What's all the noise? Kevin! Who are you people? See, this is the this is the whole thing that I found kind of weird about the relationship between Shion and Kevin. Kevin is in his late teens, Shion is like, I don't know, nine or ten. Sure, there's a big age gap that they don't talk about but that's not the problem the problem is is i don't recall shion ever bringing up the fact that she knew kevin as a kid so she forgot kevin or something and because she never mentions the fact that she knew kevin on milsha but she mentions to kevin that her parents died on milsha as if kevin would not know that but they knew each other on milsha so shion forgot about kevin knowing kevin remembered everything else about milsha and Kevin never saw fit to correct her about how he totally knew her during Milsha. <gasps> See? Well, what's going on? Also, Kevin's really an asshole when he was a kid. Oh, um, we found someone hurt nearby. His wounds are serious and we can't move him, so we came here. Someone hurt? Hi, Feb. We killed your sisters in the second oh, game. No. Hurry, this way. Fabronia, wait. This man is a Federation soldier. Do you realize what you're doing? He may be an enemy soldier, but he's still hurt. I don't think that's a good idea. You're a UTIC organization Realian, remember? It's bad enough that you're here at all. UTIC? Kevin's an asshole. <laughs> Please, he's going to die. I know. Take him to the back room. 
see. What actually happened in the past is that Febronia Maybe found I him when he was Professor injured Ms. instead of them. Be a little more strict. Uh, you can't tell Ms. Rahi to do shit. In the management of realians. You're a valuable transgenic model. We can't lose you before your growth is complete. I'm sorry, but I can't let him die. Febronia? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to call the soldiers, go ahead. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause a problem with your mental balance over something like this. <laughs> Teenage heaven is the worst. <laughs> I'll pretend I don't know about it. Her maintenance medical kit is outside. It's for realians, but it should be better than nothing. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's not like he's going to live anyway. <sighs> Teenage Kevin is the worst! <laughs> I mean, he absolutely does live because he has to get shot by Cosmos in the first game. <sighs> yeah, they're not actually messing with the past here because it's not really time traveling. Heavy damage to his vital right. organs. Nano machine treatment won't be enough. The stem cell germination can't keep up. We have to transplant the basic tissue he needs. Damn. There's nothing we can do. Are you sure about that? Please, transplant my organs. And even though Virgil made a big stink about how he ate realian tissue and it was delicious in the first game, yeah, this is how he got the scars on his face, because he got a transplant from a realian. That should compensate for what's missing. Transplant? No offense, but you're a realian. Mm. There's never been a case of transplanting organs from a realian to a human. Yes, there has. You just didn't know about it, Jen. <laughs> I'm a transgenic type. I was designed by Professor Mizrahi as a template for next generation realians. Like Momo. My body composition is virtually identical to human beings. The cells should have an affinity for each other, so please. Even if that's true, what about you? If we remove your organs, then you'll need transplants as well. If we temporarily suspend my internal circulation, I can last for several hours. If I return to Labyrinthos during that time, I can regenerate there. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Uh... <laughs> this is something that you never, again, never notice unless you're playing a game like this on an emulator. The fact that Virgil's eyes are wide open and he's still blinking because they didn't have a model for them to actually have their eyes closed. <laughs> You never notice it when you're playing it on PlayStation 2. You only notice it when you're playing it on emulator. <laughs> He's going to die. There's no other way. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, please. Yeah, they're not actually messing with the past, like I said, but... Wait, does he have a... Is he... Did the transplant go well? It kind of looks like Chaos has Pokemon balls on his, uh, gloves. Yes, with that quack as the surgeon, I wasn't too sure, but somehow he managed it. Be nice, he's your brother. He's sleeping in the back now. Don't worry, the others are with him. I see. Good. You should rest here for a while. Replication may be finished, but your body cycle still hasn't returned. Yes, I'll do that. Um, thanks for saving him. Hi, baby Shion. Feb, are you okay? I love how they're still calling calling it young girl when it's obviously Shion. Yes, I'm okay, Shion. Everything's fine. Your name's Shion? Yeah, did you and your friends come in that green ship? Green ship? Yeah, a pretty ship I've never seen before came down by the East Cave. You were on it, right? Could that be the Elsa? It's obviously the Elsa, Shion. <laughs> yes, it makes sense for the Elsa to have been sent to the same place with us. We should check it out. Hi, asshole Kevin. I mean, all versions of Kevin are jerks, but- I you went and did this. They're going to question my supervision. <laughs> Looks at Shion is like, goddammit. I won't bring any trouble upon you. I certainly hope not. It's about time for the organization to show up. Could I ask you all to leave? Translation, get the fuck out. It's only going to complicate matters if you're here. What about him? 
Sorry, but he has to stay right here. There's going to be serious trouble if someone finds out I helped an enemy soldier. Once we're gone, you can do as you please. All right. Shion, thanks for telling me about the ship. <laughs> Talking to- I, th That must be really, really weird to talk to your past self. Also, obviously the reason why it's not um actually the past, because you know the whole don't meet yourself in the past or you'll destroy everything in the world. Oh, that's cute. Hi, Shion. i never seen such a beautiful green ship like that before. Go down to the limestone caves the east. If you go to the caves, you have to go through Dabre Mine, south of this church. Cool. Hi, Feb. Bye, Feb. I'm not gonna talk to Kevin. Fuck Kevin. <laughs> Kevin doesn't deserve it. So, again, if you want to know some bullshit we're gonna see in this church later, go back and watch my Zenosaka episode one Let's Play, because, uh... Some bullshit's gonna happen in this church. Is it this door? No. Oh, disengage the lock. Yeah, this lock's, the lock's kind of useless, but whatever. <laughs> I think there's a save point out here. Or was that the first game? <laughs> I can't remember. It must have been the first game. Damn it, because I need a save point. Okay, south. Uh, it would be this way. Either way, I need to end the episode. <laughs> so, I kind of need a save point game. Uh-oh! So the green ship landed on a mine, uh, cave mine to the east. We should avoid being seen until we know what's going on. Let's go through the Dabry mine to the south. Nilsha! This is fine. Oh no, it's the Song of Nephilim. Okay. Do 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 do. Still need a save point. Granted, the now that I think about it, the positioning of the Song of Nephilim was changed from the first game, first and second game. But ooh, save point. Need that. I will. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't want to talk to the guy. I want to use the save point. I have to end the video. <laughs> Is someone there? You think you'd know this, Chion, seeing as you lived here. Mm, newcomers, eh? Sup? Don't you people get tired of harassing me? <laughs> um, sir, are you in charge of this place? What? Uh, you aren't with Utic? Utic? Don't be insulted! <laughs> Poor Junior. <laughs> Sounds like something's going on here. If you're not with Utic, then it's none of your business. Leave now. Don't tell us what to do, old man. I'm sorry, but we have our own business. We must go past here. Past here? Hmm. Ah, have you come to investigate that ship? Our friends are on board. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be easy. My uh -oh. granddaughter Mai is investigating it now. But I imagine you tick soldiers are already crawling around inside. Yeah, it's nothing I can't handle. You tick soldiers? Yes. I'll never forgive you tick. They took everything. That's kind of their MO. <laughs> All the valuable resources from the mine. The livelihood of the people who depended on it. And even the life of my son. Tesla. Uh oh. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> Should have gone here ten minutes uh, before. A cave in? No. This explosion was caused by weapons. That's loophole. I told that girl time and again to avoid combat. Loophole? Loophole is the autotech Tesla used. Mai believes her father's soul lives on in that machine. I don't think that's how that works, but you do you, boo. <laughs> Together with Loophole, she protects this land. One autotech is hardly enough to take on you, Tick. What do you want to do? Xion! Sir, I'm afraid we have to go into those caves. Is that all right? Should be fine. If you run into Mai, 
Tell her to stop fighting and come back! Will do. By the way, we never asked your name. My name? It's Eisen Magus. Okay. Uh, I need to save. I got shit to do. Okay, bye! Um, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some... Okay. Some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.